So today, as you see, I got a smile on my face. I'm feeling good, man. I got some new fish in the fish room. I had went to one of my local pet stores today and it had this fish that I used to have about a year ago, but I lost it when I started building my fish room to where it's at today. But I seen this fish. It was healthy for a good price and I had to pick it up, man. So I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Also, one of the subscribers had came over to the house today and he donated some dope dope fish to the fish room that he knew i wanted so i can't wait to show those to you guys as well but first let's talk about the sponsor for today's video all right so check it out you guys know i had this pond up and running for about six months now you guys seen the journey and how it has become to what it is today so i teamed up with boswell to bring you guys a discount a black friday discount that's going to be starting wednesday november 23rd where you guys will be able to get not only the thousand gallon pond but also the 500 gallon pond at a discounted rate i'm gonna leave all the information down below in the comment section and the description if you guys always wanted a pond because i know a lot of people have reached out to me asking about this pond this is an opportunity for you to buy it and get it at a cheaper price so enjoy and happy holidays all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys the fish that i picked up i uh, really can't see this guy in the back but this is a beautiful green Terror. I'll pop up a picture up here so you can guys can see what the green tears look like. This is a beautiful fish. I have a white tail green tear that I've been growing out for probably a few months now. But my favorite fish was the original green tear. And I had one about a year ago and he ended up dying on me. So I said, if I ever bump into a nice, healthy green tear again, I am picking him up. So that's what I got today. And I'm super excited about him. We're going to quarantine this guy for a few weeks. And then we are going to get him into the main displays with all the rest of the beautiful South and Central Americans that I have. Super happy about that pickup. Y'all do not understand. Like I've been wanting to find a green tear for quite some time. Now these over here, whoo, these, these some dope fish right here, man. These some dope fish. Like I said, one of the subscribers, John, shout out to you. He actually came and picked up the Midas Cichla today. You guys know I had the Midas in the pond. And he was bullying everything. He was just mean and nasty. I told John, you got to come get the fish. He's killing all the rest of my fish, and I just can't have him. So John came today and picked up the Midas Cichlid, and he gave me these. I mean, it's just so many good people out there in the fish community. I, I love every single one of you guys. I swear I do. But he brought me some L. Let's see if you guys see him. L66 King Tigers. I'm going to pop up a picture. He said he's been breeding these guys, and he brought me about eight of them in here. So... I was just in awe when he brought these because he seen in one of my videos that I was like wanting to get into breeding plecos and keeping plecos. So he brought me these guys today and I am super excited about them. And we are going to put these guys in the black water tank. He said they would do just fine in here. And eventually if I want them to breed later on down the line, he said they'll probably start breeding like 18 months. I can put some caves in there or a little bit more rock structure for them. So they're going to be going into the black water tank, all eight of them. And that's going to look amazing with the angels and the rams. I cannot wait. So them, the fish that we pick up today, not nothing crazy, um, but I had to show you guys, man. So let me get these guys in the aquariums and then I'll give you guys a closer look. So before I give you a closer look at the plecos and the green tear, I wanted to show you this new setup that I've been working on. At the bottom, I have a 10 gallon tank. And then up top, we have this 20 long that I did like a rock river pebble stone in here. And then I got the white sand up front. And then we have black gravel in the back with some crib. So I need you guys to let me know in the comment section what you think should go into this aquarium. I was thinking maybe like a bunch of red cherry shrimp. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section. And down here, we still got our original 10 gallon that we set up a few months ago that we planted. And all the fish in here, we still got all those like ember tetras in here, the garamis, the quarries. They all in here. And this tank is just growing so crazy. Look at that sword in the back all the cribs is just doing phenomenal so let me know what we should do with this tank over here at the black water tank now if you guys remember we set this tank up maybe about 14 days ago since then i've never done a water change on this aquarium but now it's time to do the first water change on this tank this tank has settled in very well i'm already starting to get some new growth on the plants and everything and here is our little l66 king tiger plecos man i have just became in awe with these plecos they are just super dope i see this one over here hanging out let me know have you guys ever kept this uh species of plecos before i think they're super dope so there's eight of them in here um right now i'm not really seeing no more than about three but i'm guessing the rest of them hiding up under rocks and things like that 
because um, they're still fairly small. But hopefully in the future, we can continue to grow these guys out and then maybe we can breed them down the line. And that'd be another awesome species of fish that we can get out to you guys as well. So look at these rams over here. They're acting like they want to breed. I just put a bunch of food in here. And uh, so everybody's out looking. You can see how the almond leaves have kind of deteriorated. So it's time to remove those out, replace it with some new ones. I'm probably going to have to, since I got the plecos now, build the scape out just a little bit more with the rocks. So that way the rams and the plecos have a little bit more places to hide and do what they do. Because right now the rams are trying to breed on that rock and the plecos are kind of taking it over. So I'll readjust some things to make everything work out. But I'm loving the black water tank. Let me step back so you guys get a good look at it. Last but not least is our green terra. Got him down here in this little 10 gallon quarantining. It's gonna be here for a few weeks. I'm gonna make sure he's nice and healthy. Don't have any um, diseases or anything. Get him nice and fat, get his color back. And then we're gonna add him to probably, well, you just guys just gonna to have to wait. But you can see how active he is. I sat there and watched the tank and I picked him out. And I think I picked a good one, but he his color is a lot better, but he's definitely washed out right now. Or that could be a female. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see in the future. And, you know, I make sure I keep you guys updated on this fish, but I love the green tears. But yeah, let me know that we take a W. That's going to be pretty much it for today's content. If you enjoyed today's video, man, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop these videos. And let me know, did we take a W in the fish room today, man? We always take Ws in the fish room. Enjoy this African sickle tank. And don't forget, click the link in the comment section in order description. Copy of Boswell Pine if you would like to get one. I know you guys would love one of those. Check it out. And I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.